This is Field Sports Channel News. In this special British shooting show edition of Field Sports News, the event attracted over 15,000 visitors through the doors of the NEC. Last week's show saw exhibitors representing 2,000 brands from all over the world celebrate hunting, shooting, country sports and conservation. It also brought together some of the biggest hitters in the shooting trade, as well as governing bodies, police forces and environmental groups. And it gave us a chance to meet our members and welcome new ones. Thanks to everyone who came and said hello. At the show, Basque warned that shooting is facing a crisis, with shotgun licences and firearm certificate delays by police. The issue was one of the hottest topics discussed on the Basque stand, with fears that the backlog of grant applications and certificate renewals has forced people out of the sport. Some people legally entitled to certificates say they're waiting up to two years for applications to be processed. I describe it as an existential threat to shooting. If you don't have the new blood coming in, then how does this sport continue? And the impact, you know, you've, you've walked around the show. There are dozens of stands, there are lots of people here selling stuff. All those potential new shooters who haven't been able to come in because they haven't got a certificate are not here buying and the companies are affected badly by it. Several forces had stands at the British Shooting Show to deal with the backlog. Devon and Cornwall Constabulary says it is at last making progress clearing an 18-month backlog of grant applications. It had 39 staff dealing with firearms matters and has now increased that to 99 people, including experienced police officers handling cases. The Essex Force was also at the show. It said it managed to avoid the problems other forces experienced, which started because of the COVID-19 lockdown in 2020. Part of the grant process for a firearms licence involves a home visit, which was made impossible by COVID restrictions. What we have to do is obviously face up those challenges as best we can, deal with them, be as open and honest as we can, because I think that's important. We need to manage the expectations of our certificate holders, which is also important, which is part of why we're here. I think the whole the big picture, the whole problem started with COVID. Everybody had to close down. Um, everybody had to go home. We adapted our processes so we could work from home. Basque has welcomed the news that the government is planning to remove moderators from firearm certificates. The Home Office has issued a consultation document asking whether mods should be removed. It says they should go as they pose no potential danger to public safety. You can give your views in the consultation document linked below. The Countryside Alliance is warning the Scottish National Party not to risk losing power after the next election because of the consequences of its assault on the countryside. The ruling SNP has 63 seats in Scotland's Parliament, sharing power with the Scottish Green Party, which has just seven seats. The CA says the Scottish Government has created so many different issues, it expects rural voters to turn against the coalition. The level of restrictive legislation that's coming into Scotland, and has, has come into Scotland over the past few years, um, is unprecedented. You know, we're, we're, we're firefighting at every angle, at, at every sector of you know, rural Scotland. Um, so. Certainly, I think the influence that the Greens are having on the SNP and the decisions that the SNP make um, is, is quite a negative one at the minute. Ireland's wildfowlers have given a €25,000 grant to a project in Finland to protect the birds that fly to Ireland. Coordinated by Ireland's shooting body, the National Association of Regional Game Councils, the donation aims to help fund a conservation project that's rescuing 400 hectares of brood habitat in Scandinavia. The Sotka project helps maintain breeding grounds by re-wetting bogland. It's key for us as waterfowlers to improve the breeding grounds where the most of our migratory species are coming from and this is Ireland's first step. The Countryside Alliance has asked the Shadow Environment Minister Steve Reid to withdraw his comments about banning trail hunting. If Labour under Keir Starmer wins power at the next UK election, Mr Reid says it will enact a ban. The CA says Labour insisted on alternative hunting methods following the ban on fox hunting 20 years ago. Legal trail and drag hunts have now become a staple of country life. The CA has issued an e-lobby address to Mr Reid, demanding he withdraws the comments made in an article in The Times, saying Labour would outlaw all trail and drag hunting during its first term in power. Link below. It is utterly bizarre that the Labour Party is still making hunting its priority and we want to send a clear message to Mr Reid and Annalise Dodds, Chairman of the Labour Party, 
make, to make them understand that these plans are misguided and harmful to the countryside, where rural people are desperately concerned about affordable housing, access to services, rural crime and many other important issues. We need people to stand with us by completing our e-lobby today. It takes just a few seconds and details can be found on our website. Southern Water has issued a not guilty plea in a private criminal case brought by anglers for alleged pollution of the river test. Representatives of the water company appeared before magistrates in Southampton to face four charges. The Angling Trust's legal division, Fish Legal, accuses it of failing to prevent pollution from discharging into the river from an outfall on an industrial estate. Southern Water is expected to face trial later in 2024. And finally, Hunt Sabs have reported Jeremy Clarkson to the police after claiming they found blocked badger sets on his Oxfordshire farm. The Daily Telegraph reports that the police visited the TV personality after allegations he'd illegally filled in the sets. Clarkson responded by telling officers there were no badgers left because he'd shot them all legally. You are now up to date with Field Sports Channel News. Stalking the stories, fishing for facts.